Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today's video is entitled Making a Voice Recording with an Instrumental Track on GarageBand. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to find your instrumental track and get your instrumental track on iTunes. Now there are a number of ways to do this. I actually uh, still have, I actually am one of the few people that doesn't use Spotify primarily, but Apple Music. The reason being, I spent, I spent decades uh, buying music on iTunes, uh, which you can still do actually, believe it or not. Um, and, uh, and, and using my iPod Classic, which I use in the morning uh, to listen to music, or my favorite podcast, one of my favorite podcasts, Coffee Break French. Okay. <laughs> um, so, uh, but however you get it, um, you can, you've got to get your instrumental track on iTunes. Now, here is a list on my screen near my cursor of instrumental tracks that I have. These aren't the only ones I have. Uh, but um, over the years, people have wanted instrumental tracks, and I, we, we, so one way or the other, I, I have all these instrumental tracks. Take a look. You might want to pause the video at this point and see if you want any of these instrumental tracks. You can use one of these as a class project to to learn how to do to do this activity. Um, uh, and I've shown it to you long enough. Uh, you can back it up if you want to. Okay, so those are the instrumental tracks I own. Um, okay, now here's how you do it. You start. Uh, this is GarageBand. You're going to start. You're going to choose an empty project, audio, create. I like to change my uh, the title of my tracks so I see what they are. This is going to be the voice track, the one that comes in there, and you need to set up. However, you're going to use your voice track. So there's preferences here in GarageBand and Audio MIDI. So I have a Scarlett uh, uh, two by two USB interface, um, and so I'm I've got everything the way I want it. Uh, so that's good. But I'm actually using input number two, and that's important. And I can see here, and I'm going to try to mess around with the mic. The mic's really low right now. Now it's off. It's hardly even picking me up. And now it's too loud. Yeah, you see it's getting that orange and red. That's clipping. So you want it. You want, one of the things you want to do is set your mic. Okay. So, um, so that's the voice track. Now, how do you get from iTunes your uh, mic, your um, your song, your instrumental track here. There are a couple ways to do it. You can go to uh, View, Show Media Browser, and then you've got GarageBand, iTunes, iTunes Music. I'm going to move this over so my like, talking head isn't in the way. And I'm going to search for the one that I'm doing. This I'm going to go for uh, a song called All of Me uh, by John Legend. Ladies and gentlemen, now you can grab this and you can drag it right in there. But a second way to do it, which probably is simpler also, is you want to go to um, iTunes, find the song, check and make sure that's the one. OK, and then click that song and drag it right into that whole empty space underneath the voice track. And so now you have two tracks. You have the voice track here. You have the uh, instrumental track there. Okay. Now I'm going to just mess around with the, with the, um, you, the next thing you want to do is you want to make a short recording to check the mic level and see how it comes out. If you make a good five second to 10 second recording and you feel good about where the mic is um, and where every, where the balance is, then, then you can go ahead and record the whole song, but you don't wanna blow a great track and then figure out your, your equipment wasn't set up properly. Okay, so let's just see what we got. Uh-oh, I'm gonna turn the mic, the uh, metronome off. Here we go. What would I do without your smart mouth? Driving me and you kicking me out. 
You got my head spinning. Okay, okay. So I I did two I did three different areas. You see this right here? This Too soft. Way too loud clipping. So this one's too loud. This one's too soft. I think I had the, the mic right about right about here. You got my head spinning. There it is. Yeah, that's about where I want the mic. You got to set the mic and feel good about where that is. And then you're ready to go. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm sorry. No. All right. Now, next thing you do, next next thing is you want to grab your headphones and turn that speaker down so that so that and and one trick that I sometimes try is to uh is to have one ear out and one ear in so I can hear both the sound that's coming in through here and I can hear my own voice and I can hear the monitor. Um, so it's, it, you want to mess around with it, but that's how I try it. And I want to make sure. Yeah, there we go. What would I do without your smart mouth? Drawing me in, you kicking me out. You got my head spinning. No kidding. I can't you down all right now um sometimes you can go to track new track with duplicate settings mute now you're ready you can make your whole track and if you want to make a second track you can and if there's any point there's a zoom right here if there's any point in the song that there's a part that you just want a couple of extra takes you just keep making those um, extra tracks, and I'm going to call this voice two uh, to distinguish it from the first one. Okay, and then what you can do is you can always just uh, you can always right click and split, and you can split both of them, and then you can just take the best of each track that that you want and without changing any of the setting. It's going to work. Okay, uh, you got to be careful that you're not splitting where where there's sound being made. But uh, I'm gonna okay. I think I'm ready um, to. Uh, oh, I want to undo. Okay, I didn't want to get rid of that. I wanted to mute it and do a second take. All right, so here we go. Oh, you got to make sure <laughs> you see. I started to record over the same one. You got to be on the the track you want to record. Here we go. Uh, all right. You can click the playhead there. What would I do without your smart mouth driving me in? Drawing. Here we go. What would I do without your smart mouth? Drawing me in, you kicking me out. You got my head spinning. No kidding. Can't pin you down. Now you can go ahead and put the monitor back up and see what uh, you've got there. Okay, so now you can you can mess around with all of this. Okay, with the editing, you make your recordings, you get the best recording you want there, you get done with it, you go to share song to iTunes, it comes out and now you've made a uh, and now you've made a vocal track using a, an instrumental track that you've managed to get onto your iTunes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was uh, that was your video. Um, <laughs> I wish you I wish you the best of luck. I can't wait to hear your uh, I can't wait to hear your voice recordings um, that you've put together with your instrumental tracks. 
uh derby at mamkschools.org uh send me the link good luck ladies and gentlemen ready go